legend begin? Well, it starts with a story, doesn't it? And the story can be about something very simple. For instance, an apple. Then the tale borrows a page from the Brothers Grimm, let's say Snow White. But a poisoned apple? Too old-fashioned. In the age of television, the tale needs a modern flavor, something a bit more sensational. <laughs> the story begins to circulate, gaining power and persuasiveness, until eventually it's been told so many times, in so many ways, no one knows if it's true. In this case, it isn't true. Sociologists have traced this story to the early 1960s but it did not have any basis in fact. I remember hearing the story of the razor blade and the apple when I was growing up in the 60s. Now this was back when trick or treat was still held at night by flashlight. And the worst thing that we could imagine happening was being told to wear a winter coat over our costume. Right, exactly. Right. Even back then, I thought that the best response to this story would be for all of us to agree to gradually, deliberately, build up an immunity to razor blades. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> That's the easy part. Thank you. 